Hi there, I'm Tommy Larkin and welcome. Today we benefit from an arc through a continuation of stretches to help release the neck, back, and shoulders. All right, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So in this week's tweak, we continue a look at stretches to help benefit the neck, shoulders, and back. Today's stretch is one which benefits the back and helps us release tension, increase flexibility along the spine, and strengthen the contracting side of the body. I tend to call this one side arcing, but some call it, ooh, that feels good. We will be targeting the latissimus dorsi and Terry's major uh, group, which is along the side of the arm and back, along with some benefits to quadratus lumborum, erector spinae, multifidius, and the internal obliques. Now, as a side note, depending on your strength or flexibility, there may be other muscles which are benefited today. This arcing is done in two parts. The first part is a lateral extension and arching while keeping the torso parallel to a wall in front of you. The second part adds a small turn in the chest as you are bowing one shoulder towards the floor. While performing the stretch, it is important to keep equal weight in both feet. This helps keep the focus of the work in the areas of the torso. So let's do this. Come to standing with the feet about hip width apart. On the inhale, reach the arms for the sky. As you exhale, turn the right palm to face upwards and hold the wrist with the left hand. Now inhale, stretch the body towards the ceiling. Exhaling, pulling on the right arm, arch the body towards the left, allowing the head to rest on the inner left arm. Inhale, now remember, do your best to keep equal weight on both feet and exhale, and inhale, and then on the exhale, round the upper back and slightly bow the right shoulder towards the floor. As you inhale, just pause and feel the stretch, and then exhale, and now as you inhale, come back to center, and exhaling, switch the grip of the hands. As you inhale, stretch the body towards the ceiling. As you exhale, pulling on the left arm, arch the body towards the right. Now allow the head to rest in the inner right arm. As you inhale, remember, do your best to keep equal weight on both feet. And exhale. Now inhale. And on this exhale, round the upper back and slightly bow the, right sh the left shoulder towards the floor. And then inhale and exhale. And now inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, release the arms back into Tadasana. Great, now I like to teach the first part three times to each side. Then on the last one, add the second part and hold for three actual deeper breaths. It is also fine to teach them as illustrated above or as two separate stretches and in addition, you can even alternate sides or simply go three in one direction before switching to go the other way. As a flow, I would recommend the demonstration layout above. As a static stretch, hold one time on each side for about 30 seconds, or that's roughly five to eight breaths in each position. So there you go. I hope you'll gain great benefits from today's work. If you have any questions or thoughts about this tweak or any previous one, let me know. Put your question or thought in the comments of the specific tweak and I'll get back to you. Also, if you like today's tweak, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Plus, check out our website and follow us on social media for other inspiration and great ways to enhance your vital energy. You'll find those links in the description below. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, have an amazing week and be excellent to each other.